Hey guys, welcome to this episode in which I'm going to catch you up with one of the guitars I built out of my ever lessening collection of Mississippi license plates. Let me catch you up on where it went and who got it. So let's start there because the person that got it is no stranger to this channel. His name is Cody Harrell. He lives in Sardis, Mississippi. He is uh, the owner of the Sun House Cigar Box Guitar. We'll give you a link to that right about there, right about now. Am I looking at this backwards? Let me see here. It would be this way. Yeah, because I got one of the cameras that I can see myself now. Very difficult. Anyway, there's a link up there somewhere with eyes popping up. It says Sun House Cigar Box Guitar. And he also uh, did some playing on that for us. And I'm going to give you a link to that because I've wasted enough time talking but unnecessarily between the links. So there's going to be a link up there, a sample of what he did on the uh, Sun House Cigar Box guitar. Anyway, Cody and I have been talking about this guitar for a while. It's the first six-string license plate guitar I built. And Cody is going to tell you about it and play a little bit for you. Um, I'll just tell you, it is themed after Mississippi Fred McDowell. Take it away, Cody. Hey, I'm Cody Harrell. I'm sitting at my house here in Sardis, Mississippi with a brand new Paul Miro junk pile guitar uh, from my buddy Ken. We collaborated on this thing probably about a year, I guess. So I'm excited to finally have it in hand and play some Fred McDowell. The reason that I mentioned playing Fred McDowell is this guitar is based on Fred McDowell. And that's what I wanted to, to bring up real quick. I just wanted to run through some of the specifics on the guitar. I know Ken has a, a build video to show how everything was put together, but I just wanted to show the importance of some of the things, the matchbooks, this license plate, the headstock, stuff like that. So I'll go through real briefly just to show some of this stuff. On the headstock, there's a map of North Mississippi, and it's really got that I-55 corridor that uh, back whenever Fred was around, he lived in Como, Mississippi, and Como is a town right on I-55. Technically, it's on Highway 51, but whenever the interstate was built, I-55 was built, it runs parallel to 51. So Como kind of became a, a 55 town. Uh, so it has Sardis, where I live. This is where my house is. And just up the road is Como. So uh, we run through the same stomping grounds, uh, Fred McDowell and I. So I wanted to have that on the guitar because that's a, a really cool thing to me. On the back of the headstock, we have Tammy's signature. Thank you so much, Tammy. Really appreciate the signatures. Ken built a Sun House cigar box guitar that has her signature on it as well. And this is definitely a, a highlight section of all the guitars that Ken puts together. So now moving down the neck, right here, it may be tough to see in the camera, but there's actually a signature from Mississippi Fred McDowell uh, from a document that I found. I won't say where I found it um, because I know that there's not that many Fred McDowell signatures out there, but I wanted to save it for this guitar, so I'm really happy to have it here on the neck. Moving down from there is a section of a postcard from the Stuckies on Interstate 55, which is where Fred McDowell used to work. And that's where, I believe it was George Mitchell ran into him. He was headed south on 55 and pulled in for gas and asked the gas attendant, hey, do you know a guy named Mississippi Fred McDowell? He said, yes, sir, you're looking at him. <laughs> so this is where that happened. Moving on down is a matchbook for Lake Como Inn. It's a bit of a play on words because there's a Sardis Lake that I live nearby, and then there's Como, the town. Um, and then also in Como, there is an inn called the Como Inn. But this is not actually from this area. Um, let's see where this may be from. It mentions Italian cuisine and things like that. Uh, but yeah, this is Lake Como Inn, a bit of a play on words, but it's appropriate for this guitar. And then the last one, the green one here, is for Rossville Savings Bank. 
And Rossville is where Fred McDowell was said to have been born and raised in Rossville, Tennessee. So we have that on there. So everything from, from birth all the way through whenever he worked at the, the Stuckey's in Como. On the back of the neck right here, we have a Freemason's coin or medallion. It's from the Prince Hall, uh, I guess, group of the Freemasons, which is what Fred McDowell belonged to, and he was buried in his Mason's apron. Now moving down to the body, this body is painted with a uh, kind of a brown or bronze color, and the reason why is Fred McDowell had a 1970 Pontiac Catalina, and this is the exact same color as his Pontiac Catalina. So we tracked down this paint, found it, and got the body painted in that same color, and also found an emblem from a Catalina from that period. Um, so this is from that, I believe, 69 to 72, or maybe it's 70 to 72 time frame. Um, you would find this emblem on Fred McDowell's actual car, really. This isn't the true one from his car, but it would be the exact same. This license plate, this is a Panola County, Mississippi license plate from 1972. The significance of 72 is the year that Fred uh, passed away, and he lived in Panola County. So, uh, so I tracked this down from a guy in Batesville, Mississippi, and as far as I know, he collects license plates, and this thing may have never left the county. It probably did, but it may never have left Mississippi at all until I sent it out to Ken for the guitar build out in California. But uh, I really wanted to have this on there. It sounds great, really resonant, so that's really cool. Let's see. Um, one volume knob, no tone knob. Don't need any of that, it's pretty simple. Uh, so I enjoy that. Lots of chrome, tail pieces chrome. We have the chrome corner pieces. The idea was if this was painted like Fred McDowell's car, and this is a license plate like what you might would have found on his car uh, the year that he passed away. I wanted it to kind of look like the back end of a car. So maybe a chrome bumper, chrome accents, things like that. So I think that that turned out great. This gold foil um, has a silver, uh, silver shroud around it. So that kind of goes along with the chrome as well. And then on the back is a larger Mississippi map. Um, so this goes from North Mississippi all the way to South. Um, we've got Memphis right at the top, capital of Mississippi. <laughs> and then just below that, you go down 55, all the way down to Como, down to Sardis. And you can see, you know, the width of my finger, or a little less, is how far Como and Sardis are from each other. So Fred McDowell and I have shared the same stomping grounds, and that's pretty exciting to me. So um, speaking of exciting, this thing has me super excited. It's tuned to open D, that's where it's gonna stay because that's what Fred played in. Uh, and I just can't wait to play Fred McDowell on this guitar at every show. Uh, so thank you again, Ken. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that we were able to work this thing up. It was kind of a, a dream that came into reality. So thanks so much, Ken. Let's see how this thing sounds. <laughs>
Thanks, Ken. All right, that was incredible. Now, I'm going to give you a link to the entire build of that guitar. It's over an hour long, gets in down into deep details, um, setting up the scale and intonation and all that and all the little pieces and parts that went into it. There's a link right up there right about now to that. Hey, Cody, thanks. Um, you are an incredibly incredible musician and if you go to festivals throughout Mississippi you're going to see Cody showing up quite a bit he tours with some people every once in a while we know like the North Mississippi All-Stars anyway the Hill Country Picnic I have the Hill Country Picnic t-shirt on from 2021 uh, COVID took it out of the way for a couple years but it's back on Kenny Brown is there his wife Sarah puts a lot of this together and they got musicians that are going to give you true North Mississippi Hill Country blues music. I'm going to give you a link to the festival down below. It might be something you want to schedule a vacation on around. It's towards the third weekend of June every year. North Mississippi Hill Country picnic link below. Hey, Cody, thanks, and make sure you send us some more Mississippi Fred McDowell on that license plate guitar we made. Thanks, buddy. The rest of you, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.